हेलो स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास सेवन टुडे वी ऑल आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ सिविक्स दैट इज डेमोक्रेसी इन एक्शन स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द राइट टू वोट इलेक्शन इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ इलेक्शन ड्यूटीज एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द इलेक्शन कमीशन प्रोसेस ऑफ इलेक्शन पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज फंक्शन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज रिलीजन पार्टीज और स्टेट पार्टीज सो लेट गेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड वी हैव रीड दैट डेमोक्रेसी एज द फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट मे बी ईदर डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट इन दिस फॉर्म ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी एवरी सिटीजन इज इन टाइटल टू हैव अ डायरेक्ट शेयर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ गवर्नेंस इन डायरेक्ट रिफर्स टू अ फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट वेयर द सिटीजन चूज देयर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव through the process of election in the direct form of de- democracy is can be seen at the village level the villagers came together and take decision for themselves but is but is not practically possible in the case of a vast country with a large number of people therefore almost all democratic countries in the world have adopted the indirect or representative form of democracy where people choose their representative for the formation and running of the government right to vote in a democracy election is the most important thing people elect their representative who is turned from the government make laws and rule the country in a democratic country like india right to vote is granted to all the adult citizen of the country with age 18 years and above irrespective of the caste creed religion race language etc only children below the voting age those declared bankrupt persons of unsound mind and person declared criminals by the court of law are not entitled to enjoy the power of voting one man one vote is the norm that the followed in our country the advantages of universal adult franchise are as follow it ensure political equality among the people it establish a truly democratic government it makes the government accountable to the people importance of election in our country elections are held for various legislative uh, bodies L- lok sabha legislative assemblies and local bodies after every 5 years a free and fair election is a free and fair election is one of the essential condition for the formation of a democratic form of government for the following reason election is the process through which the public opinion can be ascertained on two major issues the policies and the programs of the government and the choice of representative secret ballot in order to ensure free and fair election the secret ballot system has been introduced in our country it ensures total secrecy in the electron electoral process under the system electronic voting machine are used where the voter cast vote in favor of his her choice by pressing a button said by the side of the name of the candidates along with their election symbols duties and responsibilities of the election commission the election commission has the following duties and responsibilities it is responsible for holding free and fair election to the parliament and state legislature assembly it did del del it delimits the constituencies it amends and updates the voters list from time to time it gives recognize recognition to new political parties according to its own criteria it allocates symbol to various political parties and independent candidates contesting in an election different types of election general election The general election is held in the country after every 5 year during general election the whole country go under poll to elect a new legislature in our country it is also called the par- parliamentary or lok sabha election mid term election under certain circumstances the pres- uh, president may upon the advice of the prime minister dissolve the lok sabha before the completion of its re- uh, tenure and order for fresh election to constitute a new house it is called the mid term election by election in case of the untimely death of the member of parliament or a state legislature of reg- uh, res- res- resignation before the completion of his her tenure an election is held in that particular constituency to fill that seat this type of election election are called by election now the role of opposition 
in a democracy the opposition has a very important role to play it acts the watch dog of the people interest the leader of the opposition hold the same status as that of a cabinet minister the opposition checks the misuse of power by government it points out the shortcomings and failure of the government in discharging its obligation to the public the opposition also seek inquiry into certain matter which are to public interest in this way it keeps a check on the government and prevents the government from be, um, becoming irresponsible and di- dictatorial political parties in india national party in order to recognize as a national party and a political party must fulfill any of the following condition it must have recog- uh, reorganization as a state party in at least four different states it must have won minimum 2% of the total seats of the lok sabha the candidates put up by the party in any four or more states during the last general election to the lok sabha election symbol the election symbols are allotted to all registered parties by the election commission a reserve symbol can be used only by the authorized candidate of the party to which it has been allotted symbol that are not reserved for any party are called free symbol candidates of unrecognized parties and independent candidates can choose from the free symbol available with the election commission coalition government you have already learned that in a multi party system in case no party gets an absolute majority in an election two or more parties join hands together to form a to form to form a government they elect a leader or he or she is invited by the president to the to be the prime minister and form the government the parties work out a common minimum program that is cmp and run the government on the basis of these programs our country also has a multiple party system where also coalition government was formed on a various occasion in 1977 the janata party under shri mor rajji desai formed the coalition government then again in 9, 1999 the national democratic form the coalition government with around 13 coalition partners the press the present united progressive alliance which formed the government at the center in 2004 has more than 10 coalition partners the congress party is he- heading the government in its states also coalition governments are formed maharashtra has a coalition government formed by the congress and national nationalist congress party karnataka also has the coalition government every party who is the partner in the coalition does not want to dilute its basic policy or programs while drawing up the common minimum program when the party leading the coalition tries to implement a program outside it meets with protest from other coalition partner for example when the congress led coalition government tried try, uh, tried to reduce interest rates on employment providing fund left parties protested and the most recent example of friction on principle is the withdrawal support of the left front of certain political issues posing a serious threat to the government thank you